Well, good evening. Thank you for taking a few minutes of your Tuesday uh, on this cold and rainy day, or if it's later this week, it's cold, not rainy. Uh, my name is Patrick Werner. I'm a follower of Christ, and I wanted us tonight to look at Christ's invitation to each one of us. When we are seeking to know who we are and who God is, Christ gives us an invitation. And some of us like to overthink things <clears throat> a little too much, like me. Um, some people have um, lots and lots of questions, which I think is a good thing. And if we look biblically um, at the people who follow Jesus, they had lots and lots of questions. Um, but I think it's interesting to see how Jesus invites people and how you get some of those questions answered while you're on earth. And so tonight we're going to look at um, the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 35 to 39. So um, when we think about Jesus and we want to know who he is, Jesus has a really simple invitation for people. He doesn't stand up and give <clears throat> long-winded speeches to try and convince you. Um, he doesn't um, try to do flashy things or talk to you so long that you just kind of give in. And I think it's important us, for us to realize um, how simple Jesus's invitation is and how meaningful it is. So um, let's think about this. How does Jesus show us who he is. And I think in these few scripture pieces that I'm going to read in a second, they show um, how he does this. Just through two common phrases. One is follow me. I think I've talked about that before. Jesus calls us to follow him. But more importantly, there's another phrase that I, I just think is really interesting. And the phrase is, Come and see. These two simple phrases allow all of us to make a decision for ourselves. And this decision can and does change the course of each one of our lives in our eternity, depending on how we answer these invitations. And so let's look at um, John chapter 1. 35 to 39, and, and I'll just give you my thoughts on it. So here we go. Listen to God's word. It says, the next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, look, the Lamb of God. And when the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them <clears throat> following him, and he asked, what do you want? And they said, Rabbi, where are you staying? <laughs> Excuse me. Rabbi, where are you staying? And Jesus says, come, and you will see. That invitation just come and you'll see, change the course of those two disciples' life. Uh, early in the Gospel of John, when we're looking at this in chapter one, we actually find ourselves listening to John the Baptist. That's who is talking in verse 35. The cousin of Jesus, the one who was announcing the coming of the Messiah, to everybody that would listen to him. And he had disciples and followers of his own. And when he saw Jesus, he declared what? He declared, look, the Lamb of God. Um, John knew who Jesus was. Grew up with him, but he also knew um, he was different. He was indeed the Messiah, and he wanted the world to know it. He wanted the world to know that Jesus was God, 
and he was announcing it to everyone, including his own disciples. And two of those disciples heard him and started following Jesus. It's a simple call, follow me. But it's interesting, Jesus, when they started following him, he turned around to them and said, what do you want? And I think he asked all of us this. We all have to make this decision in our life. Some of us will ignore it. But the reality is when you ignore them, that's your own decision. Um, and Jesus turned to them. And said, what do you want? And so that's what we all get asked. What do we want out of life? Do we want to know our creator? Do we want to know and spend time with God? Or do we want to completely ignore that? Do we want to fill our life with distractions? Or simply deny the reality of the world in which we live? And that question, what do we want, is indeed ours individually to answer. But what's interesting is when we seek God, we look to follow Christ, and he says, come and see. <clears throat> that invitation is pretty simple. We're just supposed to come with God, come with Jesus, and see what happens. That's what he's saying to us. Hey. Just come along and see, and you can make your decision. And I guarantee you, if you are earnestly seeking God, if you're earnestly seeking to see if Jesus is the Son of God, He is the Creator, you're going to see how He works in your life. You're going to see how He walks with you through everything, the good and the bad. And He uses all of that, the good and the bad, to actually change you more into his likeness. We just have to be willing to follow him and come and see who he is. It is that simple. That's why Jesus is so awesome, is that through simple things, he can change all of us. So I invite each one of you, Come and see who Jesus is. Come to him and ask questions, all the questions you want. Share with him your desires and your sorrows. And see how the God of the universe will change you from just being of this world to being his actual follower and spending eternity with God. I guarantee you, you will find that. I love you guys. Hope you stay. (laughs) Excuse me, I'm still getting over cold. I hope you stay um, warm. Enjoy your day. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. As always, love you guys. May God continue to bless you and keep you. We'll see you next week.